Right, thank you all. It's been great to meet you again. So there we go, there's the Tyler homeworld um, that we just visited there. Um, now of course there's actually quite a lot of things to sort of see around Oz space um, in their sphere of influence, especially around the Vulpiculi system. Um, we've got, I think it's eight of Vulpiculi that we're going to go to now. And uh, that, I'm pretty sure, is where the old Andro uh, Androsynth homeworld is. Oh God, I couldn't say it very well. Um, so I think this is where the old Androsynth system is. Um, I'm not sure though, let's just check. I wonder if there's any more that's happened there. I wonder if it's ever e even more destroyed than it already was. Of course, all of the cities have been completely abandoned and destroyed, but there's no bodies. And it's really strange when we, when we saw it. I was really confused and a bit sort of... I didn't know what was going on really when I first played it in Elko Masters and I saw this. Oh, there we go, all the cities are still there. So let's see what's going on down on the surface. Looks like the cities are still pretty destroyed. Ooh, Lem is reporting. Nature is rapidly taking over. Most of what used to be advanced cities are now overgrown by flora and local animals. So it's just like a completely. Uh, not very hostile, but, you know, nature has taken over all the cities. Even the cities that are just in the middle of the, the sea, if that's what it is. Telluric world? Tellurium? Is that a metal? I'm not sure. But uh, I wonder if the surface is completely solid. I'm not sure. How cold is it there? I didn't see. 28 degrees or something. I don't know. Either way, nothing going on there. Just looks like no one's touched that planet at all. The ores have just wanted nothing to do with it. No one has wanted anything to do with that planet. It's just a little bit scary. No one wants to uh, get eaten by the ores or taken by them. Um, so that's pretty much that's a good idea. Just to stay away from Eight of Alpaculi altogether. No ores are there at all. It looks like they're completely abandoned. Oh my god, there's three ships. Jumping peppers. Again, campers are to make talk with us, the ores. Do we play this game? We do. And do not hurt in the jury. Hello Oars, um, we've already talked to quite a lot of you, so um, must, be must be off. You're joking again. More jokes from the Oars. Oh, more. Oh, what's this? What is this? This is not good. What the hell? Korra. Those are not Korra ships. What are they? Those Korra. They've got a new design in this game. I should save the game. I think it's a Korra, but it looks a different. This though. is Slylander's oh my god. Plurius Giddiness. We come in peace and, oh, this is terribly exciting. The human traveler our songs have told us so much about is actually before us. Oh my god, it's the Slylandro! What the hell are they doing in Korra ships? Are they... Yeah, they must be the Slylandro. Why are they in Korra ships? What are they doing? I love the voice as well, it's like Australian. You better leave fast, but yeah. We cannot do that. Not gonna when we have got destroy the you otherwise. Of freedom for the first time in our history. Not when we have so many exciting new worlds right under our gas bags, so to speak. On the other hand, we have already lost many young floaters, seeing our ships being blown to bits. It's so sad. But hey, couldn't you help us out? Could you talk to your allies? If you informed everyone of our real nature, so they wouldn't try to blow us up? Please, this means a great deal to us. Okay. Um, yeah, we almost thought they were Korra, didn't we? How are they in Korra ships? How, How would they get those? You do remember us. Now this is a story you won't believe. Only a few hundred rotations after the last time we met at Source, we got new visitors. How eager they were to speak, to tell us about latest events, how joyous and laughative they were. But the most wonderful thing happened when a while later they returned and brought with them these ships. Somehow, someway, they had constructed a micro-environment within these hulls that matched the climate of our gas giant home perfectly. They said they wanted to offer us the opportunity to leave our planet, explore the vast depths of space, see attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion, watch the sea beams glitter in the dark near the Tunhauser Gate. We were sold the very instant. What does it cost, though? asked Sullen Plummet, and we were all a bit worried. After all, we don't have a lot to offer visitors from outside. 
Accept our ancient knowledge on history and clouds, but the visitors stunned us all with their goodwill. They said, it's free of charge. Har har. Oh no. I think it's the old guy. They that said much that. About themselves, referring to what they called incognito or something. But this much we know. They rode in smallest ships that in your visual range you would call green, and they called themselves the Benevolent Helpers. No, you fell for the Umgar, you idiots! They're clearly the Umgar. I can't believe that Zelnik hasn't picked up, but this is clearly the Umgar who have done this. Small green ships, har har, Benevolent Helpers. Unbelievable. It's obviously the Umgar, and they live pretty close to Beta Corvi as well. That is unbelievable. Good guys. What? Oh. Yeah, that was the previous part, the new Urquan, of course. But why would the benevolent helpers sell us ships that look just like your enemy ships and then give us maps that lead right here? They were so friendly to us. Because they've trolled you, basically. Oh my word. Okay, well, I guess I really can't do anything about it at this point. Well, They're so the way to this into their stellar space. travel. We encountered a large fleet of ships, larger than we have seen ever since. Oh. We were still very new to this kind of thing, so we didn't know how to record data on them. At least we know they were moving very fast to the direction that on your map topology would be west. Okay, well that's interesting, that's, that's strange. But um, goodbye Slylandro, it's nice to see you. Don't die in your basically Korra ships. I don't know why you fell for that. Goodbye Slylandro. So, massive fleet of ships heading west. It's very strange, but Jumping hopefully... Oh, this is more ores. Brilliant. Campers. We've already talked to so many ores. Goodbye, thank you, on. bye. Only, Only joke. joke. Must be on. Okay. We are done there with that little exciting moment there. So the Slylandro, they're in Korra ships. That's really strange. Um, let's go to the Alpha Vulpiculi. Let's see what's going on there. Um, okay. What is going on? It's getting pulled in. Is that Black Hole? Is it getting pulled in? No. Jumping peppers again. Campers are to make talk with us. The ores. Do we play this game? We do, and do not hurt in the jury. Hello, ores, what are you doing? What is this? Can we not like ask them a question about this black hole that just happens to be right there? Ores, just I tell us what's going so on. Come on. And then less more. Before campers first said hello, the ores, there was Androsynth. The Androsynth made slippery places for us to smell your level, and we find the new town and the playgrounds. This is the everything story, and already you know. If campers no bigger than the everything story, ores are pulling the campers. Ores are pulling the silly Androsynth, and they do not like. Campers are not ready and do not want. The everything story is enough to open the party door. But do not spill the drinks. I am joke on party and party. It is funny the most, even not too false enough for spices. So it's what we thought. They're just extra dimensional beings who took the Androsynth because they annoyed them, I guess, just a bit. Just tell us really oh, you what do happened not to, want you. to know. I am clear and you do not ask so much the fat words. Now you understand. We can't hammer the tulips together. No more ask the true nature. Okay, well I guess we're just going to anger them. And uh, we don't really want to do that because they're good. They've got good ships. So we might as well be off. I'm going to go and investigate this though because this is just certainly something that I've not seen in a game before. Uh, we're in star control. Uh, do we want to go in there? I'm not really sure. I'm going to save the game, obviously. Okay, guys. Here we go. With the, with the discovery, let's see what's going on. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. What the hell? What is this? You are not prepared to face the dangers that lie ahead. Who do you think you are? Let me through. What is this? I want to go through and see what's on the other side. Not knowing is your best protection. We are sorry to prevent your actions. But we value your well-being too much to allow you to f venture any further. Okay. Well, there we are. I guess we can't go. Do not feel bad. In the fullness of your time, you might be ready for more knowledge. Like in the full version of this game. I guess, yeah. Maybe it's just not finished then. That was strange, though. 
what the hell was that? That was really weird. Okay, well there we are. So it isn't complete yet. It's just a, it's just a trolley demo thing. Brilliant. That was fun. But, uh, I thought it was going to be something. I thought that was going to be the end of the demo there for a minute. Actually, I thought I was going to something bad was going to happen. But um, okay, we'll just keep going then. I guess. Oh, there's another thing. That's moving really quickly though. Might be an ore ship. Here's some more ores. Beta Volpuli. Was there anything here? I can't really remember. I can't remember what their home system was. So where have we been? We've been, um... Is it Beta? I don't think it's Beta Volpuli. Is their home system, is it? No. It isn't. What have, where have we been to? We've been to... We've been to Eta. We've been to... Delta. Have we? Uh, so where else is there? What else? Is it Gamma, maybe? Gamma Vulpiculi? I can't remember. It doesn't matter. They're probably going to say exactly the same thing anyway. We've already talked to a lot of ores. So we might as well just move on to the Cyrene. Um, everyone's favourite race. So that'll be fun. And um, we can go and see what they've been doing uh, at Beetlejuice. See how they've... Oh god, here's another ship. Brilliant. Here's more ores. Thank you. Yeah, we've talked to you enough. A lot of ores stuff happens around Vulpiculi. A lot of weird stuff happens around Vulpiculi. I'm guessing that's going to be a good focus of the game, Vulpiculi, because that has a lot of stuff that could be built on. A lot of really weird stuff that might happen. Who knows? Um, okay. So, let's keep going then. And, um, hopefully, we will be able to talk to the Cyrene. They might have uh, their no slave shield anymore, so we can actually go to their homeworld and see what it's like. So that's, uh, that's going to be awesome.